हॅलो टीचर्स आय एम सारिका पाटील फ्रॉम हुजूरबागा कात्र सेकेंडरी स्कूल पुणे इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय विल बी शेअरिंग माय एक्सपिरियन्स ऑन टीचिंग मॅथमॅटिक्स टॉपिक सर्फेस एरिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ हँड्स ऑन ॲक्टिव्हिटीज सो बिफोर स्टार्ट टीचिंग आय रिवाइज सम इम्पॉर्टंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन मॅथमॅटिक्स सच ॲज युनिट डायमेन्शन्स टू डी थ्री डी शेप्स मेजरमेंट ऑफ लेंथ ब्रेथ हाईट अँड ऑल्सो हाऊ टू फाइंड आउट एरिया ऑफ टू डायमेन्शनल फिगर्स सो आय स्टार्टेड विथ अन ॲक्टिव्हिटी वेअर आय प्रोव्हायडेड ग्राफ पेपर and cutouts of different geometrical shapes to each group of students after finding out the area students can tally their answers with other groups i also tried one more activity wherein i asked my students to bring boxes in the class i told them to cut and open the boxes and convert them into 2d shapes and observe how three dimensional objects are formed from two dimensional figures After this introduction activity I actually took different geometrical shapes and discuss how to calculate their surface areas The first activity was making a cuboid with paper For this the material required paper scissor marker ruler I divided the class in groups and distributed things which are cuboid in shape or simply a cuboid box I asked how much paper will be needed to cover this box i encouraged them to actually make a cuboid model and calculate its surface area and gave them guidelines to make the model i first told them to draw six rectangles on papers like this i also guided them on making some dotted lines along the rectangles so that it can help them later to fold along let them cut the rectangles and fold along the dotted lines stick the other rectangles to this see this makes our cuboid then we discuss number of faces and shape of the faces of cuboids then i ask them to calculate area of each face when they done with the calculations i ask them to find total surface area of the cuboid and whether they can predict the surface area of cube we can repeat same activity for cube also and remember the formula for surface area can be derived with the help of students only for activity 2 surface area of cylinder materials required are a4 size paper scissors pencil glue for teaching them how to calculate surface area of cylinder i gave them a4 size sheets and asked them to make their best cylinder from that paper like for example take these a4 sheets and make the curved surface with one of these make two circular portions and then stick them together to make cylinder see our cylinder is ready i asked my students to prove why their cylinder is the best meanwhile i distributed worksheets which had questions related to the surface area of cylinder just like what is the shape of top and bottom of the cylinder how can you calculate the area of this shape unfold the curved paper what is its shape how can you calculate the area of this shape and how can you find out the total surface area of the cylinder with the help of students answer we can derive formula for calculation of surface area of cylinder after that you can state a problem which is related to the real life examples like the diameter of road roller is 0.9 meter and length 4 meter how much area of the ground will be pressed in 500 revolutions after cylinder i move on to explaining surface area of sphere to arouse the curiosity of the students I try to wrap a paper around a ball uniformly in front of my class. Student observed this and they could easily see that I am unable to wrap paper uniformly. So there might be a different way of doing this. So I demonstrated activity to calculate the surface area of sphere. For activity 3 surface area of sphere materials required are rubber or a plastic ball cutter thread two colored red and green marker pins cylinder having the diameter and height 
same as that of the diameter of the ball. Take this ball and cut it into two parts. Fix a pin at the pole and start winding a thread just as I am doing here like this. Now cover this cylinder with another thread. Roll the thread to cover this entire covered surface of the cylinder. Compare both of these, the surface area of the sphere and curved surface area of the cylinder. I ask my students to observe the activity and think about the surface area of sphere. I guided them by asking the questions like, what is the surface area of the curved surface? And what is the total surface area of a sphere? After this activity, I did a brief discussion on problems based on surface area of sphere. And after that, I showed them an ice cream cone. And I told them to think about how they can find out its surface area. For activity 4, surface area of cone, materials required are colored paper, scissor, glue. Cut a circle out from this A4 sheet. Cut a triangle and make the flaps. Stick these triangular flaps. Now cut this cone along its height. What you will get is a sector. And each time you can add circle cutout at the base to get surface area of cone. After this activity, we derive the formula for calculation of surface area of cone and also solve some examples which are related to the real life. In my experience, usually students memorize the formula and forget whenever they need to recall it. This lesson was a big success, especially when students made their own 3D models and derived relationship between them. They enjoy such learning as they could visualize and appreciate mathematics. You can also try this with your students. Link for this complete lesson plan is given in the description box. So please do share your experience and suggestions. Thank you for watching.